A few weeks ago, the news came out that Sardinia's most famous beer, Ignusa, might have been contaminated by floor seed, a chemical factory that is one kilometer away from the brewery. The story is located in a polluted area just outside Cagliari, the industrial area of Macheredu, where multiple environmental disasters happened in the past years. I'm going there because I want to see with my eyes what this story is about. Hello guys and welcome to my channel. When I decided to make this channel, I wanted to show you the good part of Sardinia and the bad part of Sardinia. And guess what we're doing today? We're talking about the worst things. We're talking about the bad part today. I am outside one of the biggest company in the world. Florcid is the worst leader of the production of these chemicals. The company is classified as a risk of major accident. This means if something happens, the entire natural life in the area is gonna die. So everything needs to be handled with care, but instead, the company did the complete opposite. The company was accused of dumping their waste in the fields nearby and in other parts of Sardinia, dumping mud in the nearby lagoon, which is one of the most important humid areas in the world, and leaving their stocked materials under strong winds. The story of today is that the most famous Sardinian beer might be contaminated and that's what we're talking about today. I am right outside the company that might be responsible of this. This company was accused of contaminating the area on purpose. Basically, they took part of their production waste and throw it out here in the fields and that contaminated the underground water. We already know that this company contaminated the area. What I didn't know is that very close by, right there, just a couple of minutes from here, there's a beer production factory. The biggest, the most famous Sardinian beer. It's a company owned by Anniken, which is a big corporation that has nothing to do with Sardinia. The one behind me, right here, is the beer factory. Iknusa, which is owned by Henniken, and just right there behind those trees here, that's where the company that is contaminating the water is. So, beer factory contamination is just, I don't know how things work underwater, but I wouldn't feel safe drinking a beer that is made. Here. And this is weird because there's also some farm going on here. There's farmland, there's smell, bad smell. I wouldn't drink a beer made here, guys. Honestly, I wouldn't. I didn't know about this. I came here because I wanted to see with my eyes. And I definitely wouldn't drink a beer that is made here, even if it's not contaminated, because this doesn't look like a, a healthy place. Just to give you a little bit more information now that I'm editing the video, the brewery was founded in 1912, they moved to the new area in the 60s, and they've been bought by Anakin in the 80s. When the company moved into this area in the 60s, it was a great area, it was a very natural area, it was a, one of the most important natural areas in Sardinia, so it was great. The the brewery is still surrounded by what is supposed to be green, even though now it's it's brownish. And this area became very polluting in the past 60 years or something. I think it's up it was up to Hennekin understanding the the changes that were happening in the area and understanding that this is no longer a very good spot for a beer production factory. I don't think this is a good choice of a location. I think this company should take everything and leave from this area if they want to keep working and, and giving us the best beer they can, in my opinion. These guys are good, these guys are hardworking people. Probably it's not their fault if this is the situation. They've been in the same area for all this time. Apparently what the company said, the company takes the water down here, very, very far away uh, in the ground, while the other company contaminated superficial land. So I personally don't drink that beer because um, a couple of years ago, I think they changed the recipe. They made it a little lighter, 
in color and in taste. The base model completely sucks, it tastes like dirty water. And what they did, they made a different beer, which is more expensive and more premium, which tastes a little bit like the one that it was before, which is the one that I drink sometimes. You saw me drinking on, on the video the other day, and uh, that's the one I drink. That's the only one I drink. Uh, but uh, from now on, I'm definitely not gonna drink any kind of beer coming out of this place. The worst thing though is not just Ignusa beer because it, they produce all kinds of beer in this plant. They produce even their other brands. I suppose that if the Ignusa beer made here was contaminated, probably even the Heineken made here is contaminated. Think about it guys, I haven't seen the documentary yet. A couple of months ago, a documentary came out. This documentary is dedicated to how much the floor seed is polluting in Sardinia and everywhere else they operate. A little part of this documentary is about checking the levels of these chemicals in the beer. And so they found out that the levels in the beer are super, super high way higher than the limit. The company said that they take the water from a safe aquifer and that they test their water all times. And there is a problem here because the company is the only one in charge to check their, their beer, their product. So they're the one they're checking the product so they can say whatever they want. Nobody else is checking the product. Another very terrible thing about this story is that the government organization that needs to check the waters also was corrupted by the floor seat. So we, we found out that the government organization in charge for overseeing the contamination of the area. Few of them were also arrested. They actually facilitated the criminal activity instead of stopping it. So that's that's also one crazy thing. I personally wouldn't drink beer that is made in this area, honestly. It uh, doesn't look healthy, doesn't look natural, doesn't look good, doesn't look interesting, doesn't make me feel good. So I, I was going away, but uh, I stopped by because you see, that's, that's where the beer company is, and here there is like another huge, huge industrial complex. It's trash completely. That thing is huge. It goes all the way down. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and enjoy your beer, and make sure you choose the right one. I'm going to update you on this. We're going to find out if this is true or not, if, if the company can prove that their beer is natural let's see what happens at this point in time we can't be sure about nothing we can't be sure if the company ever really checked their beers if the government is checking the waters what we know is that the location is very polluted and that nobody is paying for it a very bad part of this story is that nobody went to jail the organization said they they would clean the area so half of them they were okay by saying that they would spend 20 millions to clean the area and um, the other part of them uh, just expired you know in italy there's this thing that uh, lawsuit expires so rich people don't go to jail in italy unless um, they're not that rich